Hmm. Sup guys, two guys teach industrial design JVP here. Today, we're gonna go over environments. The options we use based off of the type of media needed to be exported. This one is the quickest way to get nice reflections on your model. Now, first off, what the f is an HDR map slash HDRI image? HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image. Simply put, it's a panoramic photograph that covers the entire 360 degrees of vision. And these images contain a significant amount of data, normally around 32 bits per pixel per channel. So basically, an HDR image file has a wide range of brightness, unlike JPEGs. Speaking of the devil, there are also formats called LDR images. LDR stands for Low Dynamic Range. These images store about 8 bits per pixel per channel. And by channel, we mean red, green, and blue. An example of an LDR image is the infamous JPEG file. Great for Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. In the professional field, there simply isn't enough data to truly sell the idea that this non-existent product they were showcasing exists. And of course, you can create LDR photo spheres right from your phone if you don't need the HD. The Google Camera app is what I use if I need to add some quick, dirty photo spheres that aren't in my library. Now, if you're nerdy, dirty, and like to get wordy, like our buddy Greg. Greg at AdaptiveSamples.com goes into extreme detail in the process of creating HDR maps. Hit up that description for the link. And if you want quick, free HDR maps without the hassle of creating yourself, HDRmaps.com is the easy way in. Link in the description. HDR maps help sell the lie that your model exists, and they're really good for image stills, but they do have their limitations. They start to fail as soon as you try to show object shadow on the model, like trees and buildings. This leads us to our next option. This method is pretty f***ing cool. Having a sign, tree, garbage can next to your object really help it blend into the scene. All of the models inserted into the scene will use the HDR image for lighting and shadow strength. It's one that is strongly preferred among our clients who want images, by the way. If you want to create animations, this method works as well, but it does have its own set of limitations. If your panning is too strong, your scene will fall apart faster than the US economy after Bush. <laughs> this leads us to the next option. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to bullshit. We are new to this territory. It's time heavy, foul heavy, as everything you see is a model, even down to the sand, and everything has a shader and a bitmap applied. But if you are working with highly detailed models with the right shaders and bitmaps in your scene, you can really sell this technique. Let's take, for example, this North African scene we mocked up. I had this vision of a warm scene, morning light pouring in on our hero, while having the shadows of other environmental objects roll across the body of our hero. I also wanted to have weird architecture reflection on it. Uh, we quickly realized that we couldn't do this using our HDR files. The panning caused the scene to break apart, so we turned to creating our own world. There are pros and cons. The pros are that you can have an extreme amount of control over what you want in your scene. Almost too much control for the average user. This method falls apart with close-ups to sand and grass. They render out weird and they come off as a distraction instead of a supporting element. We're still learning this one, so it's a work in progress. Updates will be provided as we find methods to work, but I'll add that Maya is perfect to model out quick sloppy grass, branches, and leaves. Of course, you have to throw bitmaps on them to help sell this effect, but that's a whole different video. The real reason why I wanted to show this method was because v offers an amazing daytime cycle feature, and it gives realistic lighting and tones. Their skylight feature is what made me even consider throwing a ton of models into v to create this world. In other words, or in the words of the great Kanye, I am a god. I am a god. That wraps it up. If you are feeling nerdy, hit that subscribe button. If you are feeling dirty, smash that like button. If you're feeling wordy, share the knowledge for other curious minds. And if you're feeling flirty, comment down below and share your thoughts. This is two guys teaching industrial design, not to be confused with. Le Le Leopold. Huh? We love what we do. And hey, we're all in this together.